Salutations and welcome to another episode of Trippy Food. So today we're going to do something a little bit special. I was browsing through the aisles of my favorite Asian market. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I don't have a favorite Asian market. You have a favorite child? Um, anyways, uh, this was uh, Wajamaya, and I'm uh, browsing through the aisles, and I found this. It says uh, spaghetti sauce cadro, and um, uh, I found it to be pretty interesting. Uh, there's not much going on here. Uh, this says serving suggestions, and it shows spaghetti, which looks like some uh, green onions and a blob of probably what's inside here. And uh, the uh, ingredients are pretty straightforward. Cook three and a half ounces, so three and a half ounces. Uh, from a one pound box of spaghetti is going to be about uh, 40 gallons, I think. Um, pour content of one sauce packet and toss with the spaghetti. Sprinkle the contents of topping packet and serve. That's pretty straightforward. Now, the ingredients are really interesting here because uh, cod row is the first ingredient. Um, it also has shortening, uh, canola oil, palm kernel oil, salt, water, monosodium glutamate, sugar, hydrolysis. Uh, fish, bonito, sardine, tuna, corn, wheat, soybeans, something else, uh, something, something scientific, uh, powdered soy sauce, soybeans, wheat, salt, dextrin salt, and cochineal extract. That's the one that I find real interesting. Uh, vegans, you need to be paying attention to this because cochineal extract is a uh, coloring, a red coloring. Uh, it's also known as carmine coloring, and it's made from squishing the crap out of little bugs. So um, uh, something to keep in mind when you're eating red food. Uh, powdered yeast extract and uh, topping packet and chive. So um, uh, yeah, I don't know. I, I, I... So we're actually going to prepare this and uh, we are going to use spaghetti uh, because it says spaghetti sauce. It does not say noodle sauce. Uh, we're going to use spaghetti sauce. Um, this uh, cod rose spaghetti sauce is kind of based on, uh, there's an Italian dish, there's a Korean dish, there's a, a few different um, dishes that, uh, that use something like this and so we're going to kind of do a mashup of this. So one we're just going to do straight. Uh, as the ingredients say we're just going to open the packet, put that on, put the flakes on and stir that on with just what's in the packet. And then uh, for the other one I went to the market and I tried to find cod row and I, I did find some frozen cod row but it, it didn't look very well. It looked like somebody had beat the crap out of it uh, and, and bruised it. Um, so I, I didn't like it too much. Uh, I did find Pollock Row. So I got some Pollock Row and basically what I wanted to do is empty out the Pollock Row. Uh, the row is basically the egg sac, the female's egg sac. And um, so what I did was I kind of squeezed uh, the eggs out, which is really like caviar, really. And that's what I'm going to put on top of, um, of one of the spaghetti. I'm going to use my own Pollock Row and, uh, and do the Cod Row. So let's get started. Uh, let's go ahead and open this Cod Row. And it looks like there's three packets in here. Four. One says topping. And I guess uh, this is uh, per serving. So they give you two. Uh, two of these. And, uh, okay, two and two toppings. So we're just going to use one. Uh, one of each. Good. And it smells a little fishy. And that's soupier. I don't see eggs. So if there's if there's eggs in there, they're they're pretty fine, I think. So there's the eggs, and uh, and we mix that up. It's pink. It's this weird pink color. But that's the uh, that's the cochineal or the carmine coloring. Because uh, from what I could tell in the market, cod row was kind of a pale gray color. It doesn't smell too good either. I think that that will probably do it. And uh, let's go ahead and open up the topping. And I imagine we don't have to mix that in, just kind of sprinkle that on the top. Oh, that's the green stuff on the outside of the package. I don't know if it's chives or green onion or something. There's something green. All right. This really doesn't smell good. 
but um, you know, okay, that's fine. And I'm going to use a fork. I'm not going to use chopsticks. Uh, it's spaghetti. Right? My Italian ancestors would be horrified if I used chopsticks. So now I'm going to uh, prepare the other one, and I'm going to do this in a more uh, traditional manner, I guess, or a fresh manner. Uh, and so um, I took the spaghetti, and on top of that, I put some butter, I put some sesame oil, some of that lovely chili lemongrass sauce that I got at Tan Tan Cafe, and, uh, and I thought that was, uh, that was pretty good, that was enough. So um, I have the two of these, and um, here is my, uh, my roe that I squeezed out, and I'm going to put that on top. There's a lot more of that on this one. But you know, I and the weird here's the weird thing. So I actually saw the fish row that this popped out of. And this doesn't smell as funky as that other one does. So I don't uh, I don't get it. Uh, but let's mix this up so those little eggies get all jumbled up in the spaghetti. This is a pink color, but it's a different fish. And um, I believe I got this at the uh, Korean market, and um, I think it was marinated, and I don't know if it was marinated in something red, but, uh, but we'll find out. Okay, there we go. Um, both basic starters, and um, based on the serving suggestions, um, I cut up a little green onions and some uh, Thai chilies, and I'm going to put those on the top. I'll put them on the top of both. I gotta tell you, those Thai chilies, they're kind of evil. Alright, so I think I am going to try the one that came in a little packet first. Alright, here we go. getting mostly Thai chili. So here's the thing. Just standing over this bowl and getting this kind of whiff of this, it doesn't taste like it smells. I mean, the taste isn't bad. But um, I was kind of hoping that the eggs would have that pop that you get from caviar, but I'm not really getting it. Well, let's, let's take another bite just to, just to see. Mm. Really nothing special. Now let's taste the homemade one with the Pollock Row. It's a little prettier, I think. I think it's a little bit uh, a little bit on the redder side, but it's probably because I put that uh, chili paste in it. Mmm. This one has more of that fish flavor. And I really like the, the fresh roe in here. I'm getting some burn from the chilies. The sesame oil is nice. Just the right amount of salt. I like this. I like this one a lot. So. I'm gonna go ahead and give this a thumbs down. Um, you know, sorry, it just doesn't do anything. It smells funky. Um, there's not much flavor from the row. Um, it's got all kinds of artificial and weird crap in it and everything. So I'm gonna give this one a thumbs down. And the one I just made from the Pollock row, I'm gonna give that one a thumbs up. That is really, really good. So my advice to you is if you ever decide to make cod row spaghetti or just plain row spaghetti, some sort of fish row spaghetti, uh, go out and get some fresh row, uh, do it like I did, uh, make it fresh, and it's going to come out much, much better. So, there you are. Uh, let us know what you think. If you try it, uh, try something different or something, let me know, and we'll see you soon.
Thanks for checking out Trippy Food. If you enjoyed watching that video half as much as I did making it, well then I enjoyed it twice as much as you did. And if that's the case, you'll probably like this video right here. And if not, check out this video right here. That one's a little bit different. Either way, leave a comment down below. And be sure to subscribe by clicking on the Trippy Food icon right here. Glad you could make it, and we hope to see you again soon.